Hello and welcome to something I call Tia Thursday. Uh, I will upload two videos per week on TIA portal, which is all days that start with T, Tuesday and Thursday. So there's Tia Tuesday, Tia Thursday. I can't do more, unfortunately. It's, this is taking a lot of energy, actually. I think two videos a week is okay. Maybe there's going to be a third one every week, but I think for now I stay with two. So today is Tia Thursday and we are going to talk about... Um, timers and their extended use right in one of my previous videos i talked about how to use the standard the iec timers very easy you just drag and drop the block in and that's it there's been some questions on extended use of it um therefore i have prepared this here this here you see with the button i will start a timer i will have a reset button to actually reset this timer to set it back to zero so the door automatically closes uh, not automatically but closes on the button press and i have this preset button that i will explain later on um, i have some extended use as you can see <clears throat> yeah therefore i already have this hmi application here and this here is just my link to it right so my data block is just my link to it that i have prepared i haven't prepared anything else right so uh, just the link to this uh, simu uh, not simulation, but HMI here. What I'm talking about is here you can find it in timer operations. And there, last time I talked about um, the TP, the T on, the T off, and the T on R, the standard timers, the IEC standard timers. And we also have this stuff down here. The difference is those are not blue. Those are not blue. Those are um, just program instructions. The blue ones, they are function blocks, system function blocks to be precise, but function blocks, and those are just simple um, programming instructions. So let's just drop, drag and drop this TP on here, and you will see it looks like a program, like an assignment. <clears throat> this TP right now, right? This TP asks for two things. It asks for a data block that it needs to store all its data, and it needs and down here, the second thing, or the second thing, is a time. So the data block is really just you create a new block, add a new block. It's a data block, and there you have either IEC timer, that's the type, or IEC long timer, L timer. It's just the timer can go higher time values. <clears throat> you can create this, right? I put it to automatic, and it will create one of those blocks here in... Um, in your system blocks program resources and it will have the same structure as all the standard timers i have already done that and put some of the information to the hmi so i won't need the new one i just take the one i already have because it's somehow linked to the hmi yeah this whole data block that's the timer right that's the timer and this i can put up here and now this instruction here tells the data block hey please be a pulse timer if I want, I can also select any of the other timer types with this. See, it's pretty easy, pretty simple to use. <clears throat> and I can also down here choose between time and long time. If I choose long time, of course, my data block won't be uh, fitting anymore because of another data type. So that's the first thing. And on the lower side, I will need just the time, how long I want it to run. And I want this time, I want, it, I want to be able to put it into the program using the HMI. So it's this one here, actually. <clears throat> so um i want the time should go down here and i have it in my hmi data block that i've prepared you can have that from anywhere else you can also type in just a fixed time right 2500 is 2.5 milli uh, seconds or 2500 milliseconds i've got it this one here <clears throat> just drag and drop up here because i have linked that to the hmi already and now the last thing missing here is when should that timer start now? I have a normally open contact and I want the timer to start on the button press here. This button I have linked to the pulse button. here. So that's already a huge part, right? The timer will work already. Let's see. Well, almost. <laughs> we will see. Uh, let's start the simulation here. <laughs> Takes a second, sorry. And I'm still ill a little bit, so sorry for drinking, but I need that. <clears throat> yeah, there's my simulation. I got so this is my simulation that I just ran. I load it and I finish it and I start the module. So 
here we go now I can click on the glasses and I will see when I press the button you see the pulse timer turns on also the time is loaded into the timer using this preset time if I change the preset time to something else you will see it changes here in my program right I have linked it to the HMI um, yeah <coughs> What you can also see is this up here. This is the time value that the timer re right now has, that the timer is using. It's still 2,500. That's strange, right? <clears throat> That's very strange, actually. Man, those buttons don't do anything yet. Hmm, strange. It changed to five. Uh, that has something to do with this preset button. We'll get to it in a second. Why is my timer not working? Right now, you see, I press the button and the timer is not working. It's because we are using an S7-1500. If we are using an S7-1500, we will have to use the output of this timer, meaning if I look into my data block here, it's the Q. The Q output we have to use or the ET. One of those two, or those are two both outputs, one of those we have to use. I will use the Q output and I will use the Q output and this Q output, if it's true, the door will open, if it's false, the door will close. I've already linked that to the data, to, to my um, HMI. I just need to use it here in my program. So if this queue is on, the door will open and I have put that in my HMI connection data block and I've called it a logic output. <coughs> so this, this one here. Okay. Uh, let's save, let's download. The one problem I have is my PC gets very slow. The longer I use the simulation, the slower it gets. I don't know why. <coughs> So let's see, I've got this and whenever I press the button now, you see the door opens, the timer value here is running and you see until it reaches 5000. Now it's 5000, strange, right? Because Now it changed, hmm, strange. We'll, say, we'll see that with the preset. So as it is a pulse timer, it doesn't matter how many times I press, the door stays open for exactly 5000 milliseconds. Now this is a little bit, this is, this is a normal timer now, right? This is the IEC timer, the same that you can basically get from here. So this TP. Now there was a question, how do I reset it? Like, like I want to close the door. Right now I press the button, I, I cannot close the door. Um, therefore I have this reset button here, right now that doesn't work right now, but I've got that reset button. This one I have linked again to my data block here, not to this one, but to, to my HMI data block. And there is now an instruction here in the list. This instruction is called RT. RT means reset timer. So I will use that reset timer instruction here. See it? It's there. The reset timer instruction to reset the timer. What do we need to put on top? We will need to put our timer. It's this, the data block here is our timer. So I will just drag and drop that timer here. When do I want to reset it? Well, when this button is pressed, this button I have already linked to my um, program here. I think I called it reset button. <coughs> and drag and drop, Blop. done. So let's see, I want to download. I want to test this. So right now, this is my, this is what we've got and here is the stuff. We don't need that yet. So I press the button, the timer starts, you see the output is on, the door is open for five seconds. Now I say after a couple of time, I want to hit reset and the timer should actually reset and stop. Here we go. You see that? Works just fine. I hit the reset button, timer goes back to zero and it's reset. Great. You see that's, that's just perfect. That's exactly what we want, right? It's a, basically a stop button for the timer. You can use that also with the standard IEC timer. Like you can have this instruction here. Also when you are just using the standard IEC timers up here, right? No, well, that's just the reset timer instruction. You can use that to reset any timer at any time. That's good. Here's the next thing. The last thing I actually want. I press the button and now I realize, hey, the door should not be open for 5,000 seconds. The door should actually be on for 10,000, whoops, <laughs> maybe let's choose other values. So it should not be for, right now it's on for 10,000 seconds, right? It's, but I realized, hey, this is way too, this is too few. 
I, want, I need the door actually to be open for 20,000. So if I change the time here to 20,000, hit the enter button, it is changed in data block and so, but you see the timer is still going to stop at exactly 10,000. That's stupid. I want it to go 20,000. If I restart the timer now with the button, you will see it's automatically at 20,000 now. So whenever we restart the timer, Whenever we restart the timer, this time is taken and put into the limit. Like this is when the timer is going to finish, right? <clears throat> we need to preset the timer again if we want to change that behavior. Like right now I can say 5,000 and it will be five seconds, right? If I now say 10,000, nothing will change until the next time I press the button or I restart the timer. That's silly. I want to use this preset button to actually go right now and change it even when it's running. And even when it's running, we can manipulate it. And this is called a preset. We can take the PT instruction, preset timer. I guess I have to take this one here again, right? This is my timer database. I just took, it's this one here. Then I need the button I have prepared. It's my preset button, uh, not reset, preset. And I need to preset it to a time and I, we could now take something. I have this, I just want to take the preset time that I'm actually putting in, in, whoops, wrong simulation that I'm putting in on this field here. Ah, 10,000 is okay. So let's see, that's it already. That's it how we can change the time even when the timer is running. All right. <clears throat> so let's see online oops zoom out zoom out come on here we go can see everything at once and now i can also see the runtime here so what do we have i press the button the timer starts for 10 seconds All right if i change this time to 20 seconds it's still going to go to 10 right until i restart after the restart it will go to 20000 I can reset the time using the reset button. That's this little network down here. That's my reset network. And what I can also do that if the timer is running right now, right? The timer is running two, three, four, and at second number seven or so, I realize, hey, I need 20 seconds actually. The door needs to be open longer, right? The door needs to be open longer, you know, like this. I can't just change it here. The program will realize, but not apply it. I have to press preset button. And now you see the timer has actually loaded that value, even when it's running. And now we're going to 20,000 instead of 10. That's called the preset. We're changing the preset, even when the program is running. And that's what we're doing with this little network down here. Yeah. Those are two in uh, extended timer operations that we can use when working with TIA portal with the IEC standard timers, the reset timer and the preset timer. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you could also do that when using just this up here, right? Um, let's change this a little bit. <clears throat> If I'm not having this network here, but if I have this network here, no, I don't want to, I want to use the same data block because that I've already done. And here I want to use the time preset. <clears throat> I can also use it like this, right? Those two, they are also accessing this timer right now, so they will also work. They should, I haven't tested that. That's what I'm doing right now. So I've got this, All right? I don't want this simulation. I want this simulation. I can start the timer. I can reset the timer. You see, starting, resetting. I can start the timer here and I can change the preset value. Ooh, that's, that's larger than my field. <clears throat> I can preset, change the res uh, preset value here. Now it's 33 seconds. You can see that and reset. Whoop. So yeah, that's it about presetting and resetting timers. If this was any helpful, leave a like, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you latest next Tuesday. I hope that's not too long. I'm sorry, but it's taking its toll. I've also been sick for a week and I can't even work. Uh, please forgive me, but only two TIA videos this week. I need to relax a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Um,
Give me five more seconds, then it's 15 minutes. Perfect. Three, two, one. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>